In this video, we're going to talk about creating a sound effect and some of the techniques you could use to do that. I have a few sound effects that I've uh, created here that I've loaded into the keyboard so that they'll be easy to access. I'll play them for you now and then I'll explain uh, how we got there. So first of all, I have uh, a dog bark. Uh, I have up here a uh, bird chirping. And then down here I have something uh, like a whale calling. Okay, now uh, the secret to these sounds is that they are all actually the same sound. So all three of those sounds were pulled from the exact same recording of the dog barking. Now the secret to this is a tool that is widely used among sound designers when creating sound effects, and that is pitch shifting. Now when you're using a pitch shift as an effect to create a sound effect, it's important that you use pitch shifting that also alters the speed of the sound. So there are some plugins in your digital audio workstation software for pitch shifting that probably attempt to change the pitch while maintaining the time or length of or speed of the actual sample. The most practical application for this would be for auto-tuning or correcting some sort of pitch uh, in music. In this case, we want to change the pitch by just speeding up or slowing down the stream of samples through the system. So when I change the pitch, uh, I'm also making the sample play faster or slower. So we started out with the dog bark. And then if I change the pitch of that sound by uh, almost three octaves and play it faster, this is what it sounds like. sort of like a bird. Uh, if I take that same dog sample and I pitch it down a few octaves and also slow it down as I pitch it down, it sounds like this. And we get something that sounds sort of, you know, underwater, um, a whale calling sort of type sound. Maybe from inside of a boat and the boat's resonating. So if we come over to the computer here, you can see how I'm uh, pulling this off. I have a Reason set up here, and I just have a sampler, the NNXT sampler, and I have a single uh, dog bark sa sample loaded in, and I have it covering the entire uh, keyboard spectrum, and I just have it set up to shift the pitch as I play different notes. So as I do that, I can get lots of different sounds. So as I, if I go back to the original source, which is middle C, and I just start going up in pitch. Here's where we get something that sounds more like the bird. We get higher, you know, maybe this could even pass for a chipmunk or something. And we keep going lower. Here's back where we were at the beginning. If we keep going down, that's a bigger dog now. So that's sounding less like a dog, but something larger. This could be used uh, as, a, as a layer of some sort of, you know, monster sound, maybe a Yeti or something in a, in a film like that. I can go all the way down, and there's what we had before, which I passed off as a whale. So. Pitch shifting is a very useful tool in creating sound effects. Uh, you can find commercial sound effects libraries, and you can even go record things your, yourself, sound effects. Uh, but just about any sound you're going to find or record is going to need some work in order for it to sound exactly like what you want. So pitch shifting, and this, this kind of pitch shifting that involves speeding up and slowing down the sample as well, uh, can really be transformative on the sound. The best way to do it, I found, is to load it up into a sampler and play it uh, like you would a musical instrument. 
For information about programming samplers, please see our other tutorials about sampler programming. Thanks, and have fun designing your own sound effects.